well, a couple of games back after uh, some time off with the injury. How do you feel? Ah, starting to feel it a bit better. Um, first game was a bit of a worse. Second game, a little bit better. Um, so I was just getting the conditioning and the timing of the game back. So uh, it's luckily it's something that I haven't had to deal with too often in my career. So it's, it's just a matter of finding the game now. When you mention the timing of the game, is it the pace of play, being in the right spot at the right time? Is it timing a pass? What's sort of the biggest adjustment for you as you get back into things? Uh, I think a little bit just making sure the feet are moving is one, the biggest thing, and then two is just handling of the puck and just getting a feel for where your teammates are again. Um, I'd say those are probably the biggest adjustments. Uh, six weeks without really any pressure or having any any opposing players against me is uh, is quite a while, so just trying to figure all the all the timing of that out. How that first bit of contact feel in your first couple shifts? Well, the contact felt good. Missed that. <laughs> You're smiling a little too enjoyable right now when I mention the word contact. Yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, it's something that just trying to that, that comes with the timing of it too. So um, just trying to get all of that that back together to package my game up. Obviously, this playoff race continues to stay tight, but you look at those two games in Tucson, you take three out of four points on the road. How vital was that weekend as you try to look at the grand scheme of things? Oh, it was huge. Um, no, they're the number one team in our division, so we got some great great goaltending out of Bozzi this weekend, and that that's uh, what really helped us. And I think just getting the points, just keeping the confidence rolling for the guys and staying on a high here is um, big, just going to play Manitoba tonight knowing how good of a team they are as well. And you mentioned setting the tone for essentially the number one team in the other division with Manitoba coming in. You guys have two wins against this team, but that was a depleted lineup they had to put out on the ice. So what do you expect tonight and frankly again on Saturday? Well, you know that they're still thinking about those two games. Um, I think they probably think that they owe us still from that time. So I think we just got to keep playing the same way, just maybe get a little harder on getting pucks to the net and bodies there. And um, the goal started to go in last game, so hopefully they continue to happen. How important is the first period of this game? You go back to the Tucson weekend, you know, it was kind of a, I don't want to say a slow start, but it wasn't until period two when the offense really came alive for this team. So you got the number one team in. Matt Mangin joining the party. How do you feel about that? Uh, dirty match. <laughs> How important is the first period of this game? Because you know they're the top team in the other division, but frankly the offense not waiting until the second period to get rolling. Yeah, it's something we just have to um, come out a little more. I think in a few of the games that's happened this year. So just got to make sure we're there from the start. Um, this team's obviously really high-end skilled, and they know how to put pucks in the net. So I think if we sit back and let them get, get a feel for the game, we're going to be chasing all night, which we don't want. Happy to be back since multiple guys are messing with you right now. Yeah, it's great to be back. <laughs>